Hey students, welcome to another episode of this special formatting guidelines. So we are in the second session here and in the first session we have looked lots of minute details and page settings and all these things. So if you have missed out that video, you can just click here to get the first video. Let's move on to the second video where we are going to create a table of content which will be automatically arranging the page number of the content or headings you have entered. We are directly jumping in for table of content. So creating a table of content is very very easy task. Only the thing you need is the headings we have already created. As you can clearly see we have body of text over here then heading 1 and heading 2. In the last video we have missed an important thing which was to modify the chapter heading for the center alignment. The chapter heading should be center aligned and if preferred you can also underline it if you want. So we are clicking it over here and now you can see one is center aligned with the heading one selected. If you select one as heading two, you clearly see that it is uh, moving towards the left. And if we are selecting it as a body of text, you can clearly see it has changed the color from blue to black, which is the color which have we have decided for the body of text. So we have automated things over here. So uh, first and foremost, we will just uh, drop down few content and let's format this according to the guidelines. So we have grabbed some content and uh, let's paste it over here. As you can clearly see, there is a hack. When you paste any text in the document, you will definitely have these options. Like the first one is keep source formatting. Then we have merge formatting and then we have keep text only formatting. So this is the last one that is keep text only formatting is very important for us. So by clicking it, we will have our data here. So uh, still you can see that even if we have selected keep text only, we haven't received what we really want in the sense of formatting. So what is the real magic? Real magic is just by clicking on this paragraph and by clicking on body of text, you will find that it has been converted into Times New Roman font 12 and basically it has a specific line spacing which we have already defined. Then moving forward same thing can be repeated for all text you can consider it as once and uh, you just need to check the formatting once again. There is a hack over here. If I want indentation for the first line, I will definitely give, we have made the corrections over here at this paragraph and we will directly change it in our this section, update body of text to match the selection. So you will clearly see that all these text which are already recognized as body of text have been indented as per the rule. Uh, it finds really good when there is a big paragraph, okay. Now let's jump back to our main important content which was table of content. So if this is an introduction, let me type over here, this is an introduction. Consider this as our first chapter. So if our first chapter is here, this is a chapter heading and then we have leadership as 1.1. This could be our paragraph heading. So to set this up, we just need to tap on heading 1. That's it. If we want bold heading every time, we just made it bold and just click here. Update heading 1 to match the selection. And all the headings in your document, all entire document whether whether it is of 5 pages or 500 pages it will modify each and every heading one okay so we have done that one now it is time for the paragraph heading 
as you can clearly see we are directly clicking over here it turned blue and it has one fancy arrow so what do you mean by this arrow by just clicking this arrow i can collapse all document inside that heading you can clearly see there is nothing here but whenever i am clicking on this triangle everything will reappear so it will save lots of your time for just scrolling to all over the document so this is quite important hack for every academic writer you got it now moving forward we need to create sub points so this could be my 1.1.1 and so and so forth right now we need to make that these points are also should be there in my table of content so what we'll be doing we will making this as a heading 3 uh, don't focus much because uh, i'm just giving an example so heading 3 is not that much important as per the uh, project guidelines if you want to correct if you want to give the formatting you will, you can directly do it on your own just uh, create this line spacing over here you just need to uh, keep it automatic and now you just need to click here so all headings will be changing so our main agenda here is to create the table of content which is above any basic content it's time to create the table of content so to create this table of content in ms word we have a special dedicated system we are right now at the home tab you need to just jump into the references tab when you are in the references tab you can see the table of contents just need to make sure that you are selecting a proper table of content over here uh, to make make it simple i am just selecting the first option and as you can clearly see we have our first table of content here you can see this is heading 1 this is heading 2 and this is heading 3 so the word already arrange the headings with the specific indentation and page numbers as well so it is very automatic so what's happening if i am jumping from one page to another so i need vision on the first page uh one another shortcut i would like to tell you is control enter by pressing control enter you will directly jump into another page the most of my students were very much confused how to uh, jump into another page and they are just ending up with the lots of enters and then tabs which is not actual practical possible every time you format but uh, this is quite practical control enter now 1.12 1.1.2 is on the second page and 1.1.3 uh, on the third one so let's see if the table contents have already matched up to our changes here we have two different options the first option is that update the page numbers only and update entire table and you should always select update entire table and now you can see these three things are on the first page and this is on the second this is on the third so this is a important hack you should know for report making now we need to jump in as we all know the document knows which page is this but when you are going to print this entire document uh, page numbers will not be displayed over here as you can see there is nothing to display so what we'll do we will add the page numbers to get printed so we just uh, need to click on just besides the home tab we have insert tab then we need to move to footer or page number and in the page number we have thousands of options and on the top of the page we 
need to have at the bottom of the page you can either select at the center or to the right so let's jump in for the right and we have added the page numbers okay so whenever you are going to print uh, the document as you can clearly see you are having the numbers over here so this is quite important thing and you should know this carefully that's it for this episode this is professor vishwajit gaike signing off from vishwajit.org